Well, this is it. This is the first floor, which is our little sendai shop. Oh, have you always been here? The shop has, but the company itself was headquartered in a much bigger building with a lot more employees before it was taken over. But in the end, the business took a turn for the worse, and we ended up back here. The office is on the second floor. Please, follow me. Right behind you. So this is the office. You'll have to excuse the mess we've got going right now. Hey, Eri-chan. Welcome back. Is this the guy you were texting me about? Yes. Kasuga-san will be helping with the company in the place of Nonomiya-san. Kasuga-san, this is my grandmother. She's the only family I have left. She helps out with the shop downstairs on days when she feels well enough. I'm Tomei Kamataki. Nice to meet you. Tomei-san, huh? I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you, too. Mmm, older gentleman. Unique hairdo. Thick build, toned muscles. Quite a boyfriend you've got yourself, Eri-chan. Grandma! He's not my boyfriend. Were you even listening? <laughs> uh, honestly, sorry about that, Kasuga-san. <laughs> it's cool. Huh? Whoa! Why is there a chicken here? That's Omelette, our company pet. Well, I guess she's more like the company mascot. She's a good girl, though. You won't have to worry about anything. In fact, the company uses her eggs. Uh, oh, right on. Nice to meet you, Omelette. Okay, perhaps this would be a good time to go over the basics of management. This is gonna be quite a tutorial, so just let me know when you have the time. Sure thing. Anyway, yeah, welcome to Ichiban Confections. Not much to the office, but, you know, it's a nice, cozy little place. Got a bunch of senbei around. I'm ready to start your training whenever you are. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. All right, then. Here we go. So, welcome to business management. Uh, if anyone's come here from either playing Yakuza 0 or following our Yakuza 0 LP, this is Real Estate Royale, version 2.0. Like how, like, ah, if you want to boost profit, boost sales, like, we got a yes, job to do. thank you, Aerie. <laughs> Alright, so for, for our first go, all we can really do is just, just watch the business happen. So, every time the business period goes on, we just watch these, uh, trails with little Ichiban going and collecting money. It is depressingly slow. It seriously is. That was me holding fast forward, too. It is depressingly slow. And this will be compounded later. We'll, we'll find out why. Yeah. We'll, we'll get into the nitty-gritty of business management probably next video, but... And that's about all there is to managing a business. So? Not too hard, is it? Yeah, not so bad. Uh, yo. Wait up. You're acting like this is in the back, but we're flat broke. Broke as hell. Uh, you didn't have to put it like that. <laughs> right now, all we have on staff is a bunch of deadbeats. And don't even get me started on the furniture and equipment. Of course we're in the red. So what can we do? We'll have to invest. Uh, we need to advertise, hire competent staff, get new equipment, maybe some new furniture while we're at it. And we're gonna pay for all that how? Uh, good question. Then what the hell do we do? That's where you come in. Seriously? What kind of mess did I get myself into? Alright, well first off, let's think about how we'll get the money to cover the infrastructure and new hires. 
I don't know if anyone would be willing to invest in us. I suppose we'll have to take out another loan? Uh, and after Nonomiya-san just repaid the last one, too. Would you know anybody? Who's someone with money? Or a rich friend? Or maybe someone from your childhood who grew up to be an oil baron? Look, I'm unemployed and ex-Yakuza. Why would I have... Wait... What is it? No, he wouldn't. Would he? That's where I'm at. Come on, Nick. I want to do this. For both the company and Nonomiya-san's sake. I just need a little bit of... financing, I think it's called. Please, man, can you help me out? Huh? <laughs> you okay there, Nick? Excellent! Your kindness and consideration for others is truly moving! Come be impressed! Downright emotional! Consider it dust! I'd be thrilled to invest in your company! Really? Man, thanks, Nick! That said, I'm no novice when it comes to management. I can't just throw money at you like it's nothing. If you want the funds, you have to meet my three conditions. Uh, conditions? Indeed. If you can agree to them, consider the investment yours. Seriously? Okay, yeah, man, whatever it takes. So, what are these conditions? First condition, the company must never be in the red. Now, I don't ever want to see a minus next to company funds. And that includes the starting capital I'm about to give you. If I do, I'll have arrangements made to counter this on my end. This is by no means free money, and I am not a charity. Sound good so far? Yeah, that's fine. Very well. Second condition. I want the company's share price ranking to be within Yokohama's top 100 by the specified deadline. Share what now? Ranking. It's what measures the company's value. If the share price goes up, so does the ranking. And I want your company to be in the top 100. Knowing you and your company's potential, it should be a piece of cake. So the deadline is simply there to keep you motivated. I'll contact you later regarding the deadline. Condition two suits you fine? Yeah. What's condition three? The last condition. And you can take all the time you need with this one. I want you to become the number one company in the share price ranking. Best of the best, huh? I want that little confectionery of yours to be the crown jewel of Yokohama. In other words, get out there and get to the top. I'm not willing to invest my money into anyone who can't fulfill these conditions. So, what'll it be? You got yourself a deal. I don't fully understand it, but I'm gonna do my best. I'll see to it that Ichiban Confections becomes the biggest company in Yokohama. Then we're on the same page. Okay. With that, I'll go get the first portion of the investment ready for you. You're free to use the money for whatever you like, be that improving infrastructure or personnel logistics and training. Awesome! Thanks a bunch, Nick. No need to thank me. I'm expecting some kind of return once your company is good and stable. Looking forward to the results. Well, adios. Look at all this money! Wow, boyfriend, you actually did it! I'd be all over you if I was younger! Uh, gee, thanks, lady. I'll take that as a compliment. This is amazing! Thank you, Kasuga-san! Save your thanks for Nick Ogata. Besides, it's not like this came with no strings attached. There are conditions. No dropping into the red, be in the top 100 share price ranking by the specified deadline, and ultimately take the top rank in share price. These are his conditions? Yeah, and I'm not about to disappoint the man. I made a promise to fulfill them. Top 100? Hmm, that's gonna be tough. So we'll have to make sure we do our very best. Well, let's start by using this money to get this company back on its feet again. Kasuga-san, just let me know when you're ready to begin. You got it. That's a nice little nest egg. That'll, uh... That'll take us pretty far, I think. 
I think it's about time we put Nixon's money to use and start rebuilding this company. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. Then without further ado, let's begin. All right. So, here's a basic tutorial on some of the things uh, we have access to. We can assign uh, people to the uh, to run the shops. We got five people on payroll, and uh, we only have enough work for three people. Make of that what you will. Also, you'll note that every character has three uh, basic qualities or traits. Uh, you have a leader that usually applies all three, then each other, the other two positions typically only use one uh, of the traits, so you kind of want to make the most of everybody you're assigning. Yes. And uh, because we have a bunch of people who don't, we don't have work for, we, um, we unfortunately have to lay them off. Well, uh, yeah, it's literally no sense ever keeping them around, really. Yeah. If you have the uh, the DLC that gets you all the high class uh, employees, do not hire them until you can actually afford to pay keep them on payroll. Because otherwise, yeah. they are going to make you hemorrhage so much money. We got a yeah. job to do. Basically. Anyway, uh, with this five million, I strongly recommend making sure each bank of actions is as good as it gets. Because look at that, now we're now we're in the green. We're making money. Each amount of confections, like, will always be there. You cannot get rid of the store, so it might as well be like a solid, consistent earner for you. And with that, we're back at 150. Hell yeah, we actually made a profit. Amazing, we did it. And all thanks to Nixon's investment. Having an investor makes all the difference, it seems. It just goes to show the importance of where you put your money. Right. To invest in people or infrastructure. There are so many ways to do this right here and now. But we should also consider how the money can be used in the future. Money for the future? I guess it all boils down to making the right choice at the right time. There's more to this than I thought. I'd say we're on the right track, seeing as we made a profit this time. Ichiban Confections is finally making a comeback. Let's continue working our way into the top 100 Kasuga-san. Uh, President Kasuga. You know it. Well, yeah, they couldn't make this like a fail part because of how important it uh, it will become. Yeah. Also, we got Omelette and, and Pound Mates. Hell yeah. <laughs> Um, we cannot continue the business mini game for now, so we we just gotta leave. <sighs> Hell of a day. Oh, and we've got our gig at the Yokohama Trading Company tomorrow. Again. Guess we should just head back and hit the hay. Yeah, it's not healthy to stay up too late. Who are you, the sleep police? I'll go to bed when I'm ready. Come on, we're buddies now. So trust me, you need your beauty sleep. She doesn't have a thing for me, does she? You ever notice how she only picks on me? Maybe that's what she does to men she's secretly attracted to. Not a chance in hell, old boy. Hey, how about I make dinner for everyone? Wow, you can cook? Like a chef. I'll just go buy some ingredients. Nanchan, come with me and carry the bags. Nanchan? Here we go. She sure seems happy about falling in with us. But... But what? I wonder if it's really the best thing for her, you know? I guess it is a dangerous bridge she's crossing with us. But it's what she wants. Just because she's having a little fun with it doesn't mean she ain't committed. Shouldn't we respect that? Yeah, you're right. Okay, be back in two shakes.
So is it more or so. less comfortable to sleep here versus the Soapland? Uh, more comfortable here. Hmm. If only because you're laying down here. Okay, Shay Shay. Next? Let's see. One million yuan. Just a minute. No, there's not enough. Excuse me, boss? What is it? There isn't enough money in the safe. Huh? Oh, well, we have had a lot of shipments lately. Shatsuichi 你们再过来。这次可要准备好啊。放心了，相信我。Wait right here. Yes, sir. What the? That wooden box. What the heck? This is just paper. Do they use paper in Chinese food? In the food? That'd be weird. Oh, um, it's not here yet. What? Counterfeit bills? Yeah, those have got to be fake. Unbelievable. I mean, it's fucking weird, right? Where'd all that extra money come from? He did have to go to the bank. No, he went to the second floor. Never set foot outside. I saw him. And when he came back down, he was carrying the case of money. Could be they've got a safe up there. Who knows how much would be in it. But then why not move a sufficient amount from there to here? Why did I come up short? There's always the explanation that someone was just lazy. If all he needed to do was go up to another safe, he wouldn't have asked for half an hour. Good point. Let me get this straight. When the vendor asked for payment, there wasn't enough cash. So then the boss got more money from... somewhere in this building. And that's where the box comes in, remember? There was a box with paper in it, next to the uh, ones with shark fins and abalone and stuff. Yeah. Just reams and reams of paper. Before he paid the guy, the foreman took that paper up to the second floor. Wait, are you saying the papers? It's what they use to print the fake money. They make that shit right there. You think they have that kind of printer? They've gotta. What, and all the stuff they're importing, they just buy it with their fake ass money? I don't know. Seems like a damn foolish plan. But it's possible. They do make all their payments up front with cash. That's really unusual in this day and age, especially with the sales volume they have. Another good point. There has to be some reason why they would refuse to use a bank. And I think their big profits tell the same story. Me too. Maybe it sounds believable to you two, but not to me. But it's right there. The reason they pay in cash is to use their fake money. Can't do that with a bank. That would also explain why they're able to sell at cost. The profits would be crazy doing it this way. After all, they're essentially getting their product for free. Plus, the seller takes the fake bills to China, where they won't be traced back to Japan. That's bold, but in a way, airtight. Mabuchi's a sharp guy. Maybe his primary goal is to hide where the money comes from. What, you mean, money laundering? When I was in prison, I heard some guys in my room talking. They said foreign currency is easier to fake than yen. But the problem was, you have no way of turning that fake money into yen. 
If you take it to the bank, they'll know it's fake right away. Maybe that's why Mabuchi is laundering the shit with a cash-only trading company. The products are just a front for the money laundering. Sounds like we have a lead on Mabuchi's fraudulent scheme. Let's use this to threaten him. We've got leverage now. Wait, this is all just speculation so far. We need to find solid proof that he's counterfeiting money. Proof that will really force his hand. What if we snuck up to the second floor and took a picture of the money printer? No way would it be that easy. If they have a printer up there, security on that floor will be tight as hell. And if we get caught, it won't just be a slap on the wrist, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's not do anything super dangerous. We only need to sneak out one fake bill. Psycho, you already have access to the fake money. Uh, yeah, but didn't I tell you about the body check they do on me when I leave? Now I see why. They're doing that to ensure I don't take any of the fakes. Okay, but they don't check us guys. We're just unloading crates. Could you slip us a bill while we're working? I could try. You have to be really careful. Of course. Nice. Tomorrow I can say goodbye to all this manual labor. I'm actually feeling kind of excited about this plan. Then I'll make us an exciting dinner tonight. <laughs> we'll all need our energy. Nanchan, we're going shopping again. Me again? I'm beat. No worries, I'll go. Ichiban, you used to be a Yakuza, right? Uh, yeah. Your old life must have been a scary one. Was it hard on you? I guess so. But what counts as scary is different for everyone, isn't it? And, you know, it changes over time and all that. Yeah, I understand. I'll tell you something. The old me would have no idea what to do in this situation. But the new me? It feels like she can do anything. Or at the very least, what used to scare her, just doesn't anymore. Sounds great. But you still gotta remember what actually is dangerous and be careful. You worry too much. Come on, let's go. 